This must be it. Can you hack it? No time. There's a keypad. What's the code? Well, how would I know? Where should it be? Um, check the facility handbook, I guess. Give me a sec. Is there another route to the filtration tower? According to this schematic, um, well, I think... Okay, I, I have an idea, but you're not going to like it. Can you see a metal grate on the wall? Now what? You're gonna need to pull that grate off the wall. You gotta be kidding me. Silas, is this the only way? I'm sorry, yeah, it's the only option. That ventilation shaft should go all the way to the filtration tower. Best day ever. Why is there cryogas leaking here? Gotta shut it off so I can get past. Gonna need to find a code for the door.
Now that's what I call an icebreaker. No harm in trying. I'm not even supposed to be here. Mia, when you make it back... Silas, I think we both know. When you make it back, maybe you stop calling me a crazy bastard, huh? Maybe you stop being a crazy bastard. Silas, I thought there was no oxygen left. What is that? Oh my god. What the hell? You read me! I'm here. The vent! It, it didn't lead to the tower! I'm outside! How is that possible? Uh, okay... Do you think you can still get to the filtration tower? I think so! I have to try. Thank you, Mia. I I'm sorry it has to be you that goes through this. It's like you said. The descendants are all that matter. Well, I didn't mean... But they were chosen, right? The ARC program selected the descendants out of everyone alive as humanity's best shot at surviving extinction. And we... We were chosen, Mia, you and me, to protect them, to make sure they survive. If that's what you want to believe... Well, that's what I was told when I signed up for this. That's why I signed up for this. The Arcs, the Descendants, the fate of humanity, for God's sake. They need us as much as we need them. Otherwise, it's all for nothing. What if it's all for nothing anyway? The world was dead already and those bastards still blew it up. What do you think is waiting for us, Silas? What's waiting for us? Nothing. If you want something, you work for it, not wait for it. My God, are you that selfish? That's easy for you to say. Tucked up in that goddamn room. I don't see you putting your life on the line. I... I just want to live. Silence. That's why I signed up for this. I don't care about any of it. The world's gone. It can't be fixed. I just... I just... I'm not ready to die. Mia? Mia, come in. Can you hear me? Help me. If you can hear this. Thank you. Silas! Wait.
Love what they've done with the place. There's gotta be a control panel somewhere around here. It must be higher up. Shit. Gotta get across. There must be a way to cut that down. It's sharp enough, but it'd take forever to cut through the cables. that gap. I just hope you're strong enough. Now let's see about getting that ventilation system going. Still no power. What the hell is Randolph doing? Randolph? You read me? Randolph! There must be a way of contacting Randolph in the power room. You expecting a call from someone else? It doesn't hurt to hope. You got something useful to tell me? Power's still down. So no, then. Any idea how long you need? Honestly, no. I underestimated this big time. Yeah, I mean, how hard could it be figuring out a power system that runs a top-secret anti-apocalypse bunker? You want a hand? If it shuts you up faster, then sure, why not? I think I might know a guy who can help.
Randolph? You still there? It's not like I've got anywhere better to be. I can guide you through the reboot process. I've got the instructions here. Good. This place is an even worse mess than the janitor quarters. How in the hell did you get instructions for repowering the Ark? You don't want to know. Randolph, before we start, you need to know that this is a delicate operation. You've got to tell me very precisely what we're dealing with. Otherwise, we could end up interrupting whatever is keeping the emergency systems on. You're saying that if we screw up, descendants could die? If anyone still... Yeah. Then you better tell me, very precisely, how to reboot this damn system. Tell me what you can see. There's some pipes and... Shit. They're cold enough to feel through this suit. Looks like there's something written below them. Got it. Sounds like the cooling system. Found it. What does it say below those pipes? Uh, looks like I need to press some buttons in a sequence to reroute the coolant. Sounds right. And there's something handwritten, too. It says, initialize, pressure, and test. That mean anything to you? Give me a second to think. Donnie, you hear me? Initialize, pressure, and test is what it says. It looks like you need to press four, then one, then two. You copy? Four, one, two. Let's see. Nah, nothing's happening. Must be something else. Get it right, Donnie. Initialize, pressure, and test is what I'm seeing here. Donnie, you hear me? Initialize... Try pressing one, then three, then two. That should do what you need. One, three, two. Okay, hang on. I think that did it. What can you tell me about the next part of this? There's a bunch of switches and some big, I don't know, pipes, I guess. What the hell has this got to do with getting the power back online? I'll let you know. It's pipes and switches. Must be plumbing. Shit, I don't have much here. What can you see? Um... So there's four main pipes. Hang on. It says... To reboot system, disconnect labeled pipe based on current settings. Doesn't sound too bad. What's the setting? There's four switches here. I'm guessing they're the setting for this thing. Left to right. They're switched to up, down, up, up. If those instructions are right, then you need to pull out the back flow pipe. If this covers me in shit, I swear to God, Donnie. Okay, I think we're good here. What are you looking at now? A whole mess of cables, all different colors. Okay, give me a sec. It must be electricals. Looks like you'll need to detach some wires. What can you see? Uh, let me... Uh, one, two, three, no, five, blue, three, oh, two yellow wires. So it was five blue and two yellow wires. You got that? See the blue and yellow wires? Detach them all. Blue and yellow. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Nothing. You 
sure you got the right instructions? Nothing happened. I'll reconnect these. Now listen, really listen. I've got five blue and two yellow wires. What do I need to do? So it was five blue and two yellow wires. You got that? Oh, uh, okay. I think you need to detach all the red and blue wires. Red and blue. Okay, give me a sec. And there goes nothing again, for God's sake! Screw it! Randolph, stop! You're going to damage the system! Randolph! Randolph! There. Done. Next! Jesus! What? The power's spiking. There's a cable here, buzzing. Looks like sparks are coming off it. You see anything about power surges? These hazmat suits are shockproof, right? Let's hope you don't need to find out. Hold on a second. Hurry it up, Donnie. What do I do with this cable? It sounds like it's gonna blow! Listen carefully. Pull out the cable and connect it to socket G86. Fast. I repeat, G86. G86. You better be right. Okay, the cable's grounded now. Last thing you need to do is pull a lever. There should be one nearby. You better be right about this. We're running out of time. That's, uh, that's a good sound, right? Nice work, Randy. Randy? Christ! And there I thought you were trying to get on my good side. You got what you need over there? Yeah, pal's back up. I should be able to flush the ventilation system now. Good. Tell me when you have, then I can get out of this damn suit. I've needed to scratch my nose since we got here. I'll meet you back at the janitor's quarters when I'm done here. Got it. And Randolph? Yeah? Just... watch yourself. Something about all this really isn't right. Fans are offline. Gotta get up top and see what the problem is. Had to be all the way up there, didn't it?
The levers are locked. I need to unlock them. These are still locked in position. Something must be blocking the fan. Better check it out. Gotta get the intake fan working first, if I'm gonna flush the ventilation system. Freeman, gonna hear your voice, HQ. About goddamn time! You with Jefferson? Yeah, yeah, Randolph, he's around. Good. Freeman, you are to turn back from this, this damn crusade you and Jefferson are on, you hear me? What? Oh, I don't know what Randolph said to make you go to Ark 01, Freeman. If you turn back now, there'll be no repercussions. But you mark my words, if you even set foot in that Ark... You what? Entering Ark 01 would be considered treason, Freeman. Do you understand? So I guess it's safe to say Randolph's not acting on your orders. What do you think? Huh. I should have known. That explains a lot. Now listen, you come back to base, we'll deal with Jefferson. And maybe we'll see if we can make life a bit more comfortable for you, Freeman. What's so special about Arc-01? You're on thin ice here, kid. Cause whatever it is, you sure as hell wanna make sure it stays buried here, don't you? You're already there, aren't you? I couldn't care less about your goddamn secrets. I'm here to get any survivors out and that's it. And if that makes me a traitor, then so be it. You listen to me! Go fuck yourself. Oh, God damn it! Huh. What the fuck have you got me into, Randolph? <laughs> 